Hello everyone, this is our science lesson for week 7. It's lesson 1 from chapter 2, which is about the animal kingdom. The lesson is animals without backbones. We learned that scientists divide living things into six kingdoms. One of these kingdoms is the animal's kingdom. So how can we describe animals? We can describe them according to their similarities and differences, which means how they are alike and how they are different. Here we're going to discuss two differences in animals. The first one is the symmetry, whether animals have symmetry or not. What does this mean? Here we have two examples of Two different kinds of animals. The first one is a sea urchin. Let's say, let's draw this imaginary line in the middle of this animal. Now, do you notice that this part of its body looks like the other part? Yes, so it has a symmetry. Whereas a sponge animal, if we drew a line in the middle of it, this part of its body doesn't match the other part. So a symmetry, when an animal has a symmetry, it means its body parts match up with other parts around a midpoint or a line. Now, let's check the other difference, whether animals, whether they have a backbone or no backbone. What do we call the animals that have a backbone? We call them vertebrates, whereas animals that do not have a backbone, we call them invertebrates. And that's what our lesson is going to be about, about invertebrates. We have to know that more than 95 out of 100 animals are invertebrates. Can you imagine how many invertebrates we have more than vertebrates? Let's learn about different kinds of invertebrates. Sponges, cnidarians, mollusks, echinoderms, arthropods, flatworms, roundworms, and segmented worms. Let's talk about few of each uh, few characteristics of each uh, kind of invertebrate. For example, the sponges, they are the simplest kind of invertebrates. These are this is the sponge animal. Cnidarians, they have poisonous stinging cells. For example, the corals and the jellyfish. Mollusks they have soft bodies that are protected with hard shells. For example, the snail, the squid, and clams. Echinoderms. They have spiny skin. They have internal support structure called an endoskeleton. For example, like the sea urchin, the sea star, and the sand dollar. Arthropods, they are the largest invertebrate group. They have jointed legs and a body divided into sections, and also a hard covering called exoskeleton. So the difference here between echinoderms and arthropods is that echinoderms have internal support structure, that is endoskeleton. It is internal inside of it. That's why it's called endoskeleton, whereas arthropods have this hard covering, which is external. That's why we call it exoskeleton. Examples of arthropods are the scorpion, the crab, spider, lobster, bee, and shrimp. Now let's learn about the last three groups of invertebrates, which are actually the three main groups of worms. 
We have the flatworms that have ribbon-like bodies. Some live inside other animals, such as the planarians. Roundworms that have thin bodies with pointed ends. And also most live inside other animals, like the nematode. The last one is the segmented worms that have bodies divided into segments and most live on land, such as the earthworm. So both groups of flatworms and roundworms could, live, could be living inside animals, whereas segmented worms, most of them live on land. Good luck!